Hi everyone. So this is going to be another um, tarot walkthrough. Um, my dog is whining. <laughs> she wants me to get her toy for her. Um, so this is, I haven't seen anybody doing a walkthrough of this one. Um, I actually was searching because um, when I was, after I purchased it, I didn't get like a confirmation email. So I was getting worried and I wanted to know you know, has anybody else out there even purchased this? You know, you don't want to get ripped off, but it turns out I did get the email. It was in the spam folder and, um, it actually arrived very quickly. Um, this is the light workers tarot deck. Um, she even offers, I think I, might have that as well. I haven't registered where you can have like free tarot lessons, like to learn tarot, all of that. It's a great beginner deck. Um, it's supposed to, me, it's supposed to um, be a good deck for empaths, um, Reiki. It has Reiki symbols in, in the car, on the, like here. Um, and, so for energy healers as well. I believe she's saying that it is for empaths because it's supposed to take you out of, um, you know, when you're learning tarot or you're sitting here thinking like, what does that card mean? You're like, you're falling out of, um, you're falling out of your intuition and your, em your empath sort of, you're not able, you're, thinking too much, you know, I mean, yeah, we can look at the card and stuff, but so as you can see, it's not like a huge deck, like where they're out here like this. Um, it feels like, like a textured playing card deck because I say textured because it is, I'm going to try and get right there. You can see how it's like weaved. It has, she even talks about the cardstock on there. If you go to tarotskills.com, um, I am no way affiliated or anything. This is not pay promotion or anything like that. Um, I just was, you know, looking into it. It has like the, the black something or other in the center. It's great. I like this cardstock. It is slippery because it feels like, you know, as you can see, you set it down, but because it is slippery, I have dropped this deck on the floor two times since I have gotten it um, because I don't like putting my um, tarot decks keeping them in the these kind of boxes because then the box gets ruined um, so I usually find a bag or a different box or a wooden box you know something that I'm gonna put it in and I haven't found anything for this yet and so it's kind of been on this tray and it is or I'll set it to the side when I'm setting up my area and it's gone on the floor two times. And you know, when they land on the floor, they're going to dent the corners. This deck is going to last forever. It is, you know, it, there was like a, a little thing here or there, but I was able just to work it out. It's, I'll show you. Two times this has psh, the whole entire deck. <laughs> so it's slippery, but um, it's, um, I didn't even put it in order. I guess I should have done that, but I've been working with it and I wanted to get this video out there if there's anybody else um, purchasing it and then, or concerned, um, you know, like what's going on with it or whatever, like I was. So um, what else? My mind's all over the place. You can really see from where I was the texture on there. See that? Um, oh, and it's like matte. It's not like I have a ring light right here. So I'm aiming this right at the ring light. And it, I mean, this is great. So if you are new to tarot and you're wanting to learn, this is perfect. If you are familiar with tarot, but you only read in the upright and want to get, that's why I bought it. I want to get more familiar with reversals. Um, so here we have the five of cups. 
it says haunting loss. You know, so we know that the five of cups is, you know, it can represent like the one that got away or, you know, crying over spilled milk, things like that. So, and then, I mean, some of them for the most part are, can be just the opposite when it's in reverse, but sometimes it's hard to put that, you know, where I just really wanted something to where I'm not going to be, you know, some people think when the keywords are there, then it throws you off. Um, I feel like that can be the case if you're not, Mishka, come here, baby. That can be the case if you're not resonating with the keywords. Now, oh, that's the other thing I wanted to say. If you go here, um, that might be why there is not a whole walkthrough on this deck, because if you go here, you can look at the entire, every card right there. You can look at every single card in the deck as you scroll down. Um, but I just wanted to do a video so people know out there that it's legit. They're, you know, they're, the card stock is great because it, this is, um, a pricier deck this, and I got it on sale. So I don't know if that she really is charging the, whatever it was, but I think I paid 45 or 49, 40 something. Um, and I don't do that very often, um, unless it's like, you know, I'm doing a Kickstarter or something really that, you know, I want like a first edition or something like that. But, um, I like to promote people getting their own Oracle decks or their own tarot decks and kind of being their own healer. Oh my goodness. Come here. Come here. Why are you crying? Come here. Do you want to say hi in the video? Do you want to say hi? Say hi, I'm a tiny. I'm just a tiny. Say my name is Mouse and I run this place. <laughs> my name is Mouse and we call you Mishka. Yeah, and she just wants a toy. Oh, and now she's getting attention. So now she's got to growl at the other dog. This is my mouth. Yeah. I can't do this one handed. I can't. Here, where's your toy? Oh my goodness, don't. I hope they don't fight you guys. I'm going to just have to ignore this for a minute. <laughs> okay. So I'm trying to remember all the things that I wanted to point out. So, you know, you have the element here, the, f the flames. You have keywords, reverse and upright. You have a really good picture, a really modern picture to tap into. I wish if I could change anything about this deck, it would be that they would come all the way down to here with the picture. So the picture would be this big and then just write 10 of wands like up here or something if they're going to do that. Or maybe with the, these words, the, the upside down words for the reverse write those here. So then you can bring this down and make the picture bigger. You can write over the top of, I don't know. Anywho, I think you are getting a lot with this deck. You know, I think some people I was reading in the comments, some, some people love it that got it. And other people that obviously aren't buying it are judging it saying, you know, they don't want the keywords or whatever. Um, the, you're getting, you know, like the element under here, you're getting the Reiki symbol, which I'm trying to figure out where I can learn those, you know, because that's a whole nother element. You know, the Reiki is healing. So it's going to give us a way maybe to heal from this Ten of Wands, you know, having this heavy burden. So here we have. And there are. That's not fighting though. That's just them <laughs> growling at each other. They really get going. Look at that temperance. The pick, I mean, it's not like they're just giving you some random whatever and then throwing the, it's patience and balance. And then we have reckless imbalance. The I like, I really resonated. I, you know, of course I told you I, the, all of these are on the website 
and I really was resonating with the majority of them. And that's why I went ahead and, you know, and then when I read about the cardstock, I was like, okay, this is worth it. So I don't, I don't think I'm going to put them in um, order. You guys, I think I'm just going to go ahead and do the walkthrough because you can go to the, you know, her website and check them out. But I wanted to, You're not gonna wanna listen to this video with the doggy crying. Stop crying, come here, come here. Lasting security. Underlying instability. 10 of coins. You know, there's that growth. You're nurturing your legacy. Lover's card, euphoric choice. Because the lovers is always about a choice. Like I, you know, we've all seen the cards with the keywords on them where the keywords are way off. That's when it can throw you out of your intuition. But if you're sitting here with this great picture, this modern picture, and there's a haunted choice. I just, I really, fearless beginning, fearful beginning. I mean, some of them are a little, but that's, you know, that's, what do we have? Five of wands. Frictional conflict, resolving conflict. Now, it feels like now that I'm in the video, a lot of them are just kind of like reversing it. But some um, twist, a lucky twist of fate. And then here it says unforeseen challenge. So, I mean, that's a little different there where you wouldn't think of the Wheel of Fortune as a challenge. I mean, I guess you would in a sense of the wheel is turning, but maybe it's, you know, throwing a challenge in there. So I think it's cool because you're getting the element, you're getting the key words, um, upright and reverse. These symbols here, the card stock's great. Um, come here. Is there something stuck over here? These are my socks. You can't have my socks. What are you trying to have? So, traditional teachings, unconventional thinking, you know, that's when you're challenging the status quo and all of that, and this is staying in traditions. So, usually, as I've been, you know, learning tarot, if the cards have um, negative cards around them, then I'm kind of kind of read it in the negative aspect. So, I... Um, do read the Hierophant like that, even though I hadn't been really reading reversals. Or if the card comes out, you know, as I'm doing it, it comes out like this. So I like that it's like, no, if it's upright, then it's going to be sticking with traditions. And then here it's kind of challenging the status quo. So I feel like, you know, and then here's the Hermit. That can be where you're going within and doing that soul searching. Is this focusing? Or you're, you know, self-isolating. You're too much isolating yourself. It's not even about soul searching anymore. Now you're just isolated. So, lesson unlearned, that said. And then building foundation. Um, yeah, as you can see, like the... I like the pictures... I like the, I, I resonate pretty well with the, the keywords. And then here we have like the element, like this is for the swords, maybe the wind. And then the rippling of the water. But here we've got fire and there's mountains in there. Is that because he's the king? Like, there's a lot to kind of dive into with these. Because here's wands. Here's the ace of wands. That's all fire. But then when you go over here to the king, he's got some of the... Because the pentacles have... There's the world. Or is it because it's a, like he's... Maybe all the kings have the mountains plus their element. 
I guess we'll take a look. This um, Eight of Cups, you know that Eight of Cups where we're walking away because um, something's not really, it's stagnant routine, you know, like it's kind of played itself out. I just, you don't, I like it because if they're, I'm resonating and this is how I read tarot and for the most part, the meanings are what I resonate with, then I'm not thrown out of my intuition. I can read a lot faster or clearer because, you know, this is winning at all costs to me. This is, you know, I have keywords in my head when I'm, when I look at the card. So then it says ruthlessly win that's exactly the same thing as my meaning, you know, just, and then compromise to win where you're, you know, this is one you'd want to come out in the negative because you're willing to compromise. So I do want to check out what, you know, I have, I'm not into Reiki. I don't know anything about it, that healing and all of that. So I might want to tap into a little bit of that just so I can see how that would help. And as you can see, I had been reading it. And so some of them are in reverse. I almost feel like I don't need to do a full walkthrough because, okay, so now we have a night. This knight has fire and mountains as well. Do all the court cards have? See, the only thing about this, there is no, not even a little white book. There is absolutely no book. It says the Lightworkers deck is limited edition spiritual tool for intuitives and healers. That includes a premium membership to tear. So yeah, it includes your um, where you can kind of go learn about the cards and all of this. Now, this is not the price I paid. I paid 45 or 49. I don't remember. Um, and it did say that it's, I was seeing, you know, now that I'm on there and following since I bought the deck, it said something about that it sold out last season. So maybe it's been out, um, for, you know, maybe it's already been out since last year. So I don't know if um, if it's already sold out yet, but if you're interested in a modern looking deck where, you know, maybe you're coming to, maybe you're coming to my channel because you come to my readings and you're like, man, I'd really like to um, have a, car, a deck myself, but it's too overwhelming. Um, when I got, where is it? Um, got this one. This is a first edition five, five cent tarot. This was one that I really was showing everyone um, because it is a great beginner deck too. And I love promoting that where people look how beautiful this is. And this is um, like a textured, but it's different. These are a little more, not as slippery, I guess you'd say, but very awesome cardstock. So this has keywords around it. And then in the reverse, they have the keywords um, in that sense. So um, this is five cent tarot. I believe those videos are still up for this, for this deck as well. Um, this is a little more um, friendly when it comes to the imagery like the six of wands this means like victory um public recognition success all of that so it's saying victory it's saying success but the picture isn't really giving me that you know as far as the energy in the picture they're cool i mean and we don't always need cards that so it's almost like you have to you either have to know what they mean or you have to really read the words because you're not going to get what it is from the picture. 
some of them maybe, you know, the tower. Um, I don't know. So, um, I wanted to kind of come on and promote this deck as well because tarot is my therapy. It helps me so much. Um, and I feel like it's, even if we are getting cards and reading for ourselves, um, it's sometimes that can be difficult as well. So why not try to make it a little easier? Um, so we're not so in our head. Sometimes, you know, I'm reading from the most childish decks possible when I'm reading for myself. So I'm not digging too deep into it. Um, I'm actually going to do a walkthrough of that. I just got this one. Um, the new one by Radley Valentine. And it's that like where it, it's very similar to this one. Um, so I'll be doing a walkthrough of this and kind of comparing how these are similar and different. But they are, I mean, I guess I can show this as well. Very, very pretty. But as you can see, it's very chunky, um, more papery feel. And it's like um, the childhood books back in the day, you know. Uh, let's see. So I feel like I'm looking at like a scholastic book or whatever. Um, but it gives you, I think it's more so this one. I've been reading for myself with this one because it will tell you a little more as far as like, if I'm just trying to pull a card for advice or a couple cards, um, it's harder to read for yourself sometimes. Um, you'd think it'd be easier because you know everything that's going on, but it just depends, I guess. Oh, I also wanted to say when I received this, um, it came very fast and it was wrapped in tissue paper. Um, and then there was a little letter in there. So it's very presented very nicely. So here's the little letter here. Oh, and that's what I forgot to mention. The every deck has been um, cleared of the energies um, that are picked up during the creation process. So like at the um, place, you know, where these are being um, made, you know, like at the factory or whatever, um, they have taken um, a Reiki master and cleared the energies of the deck. So I thought that was kind of cool. Um, just a little more, you know, like um, something special where you get it kind of wrapped up and it's not just like you're just ordering it from, you know, Hay House where you just, it's just in there. There's not like a special little note. So, I want to find some more of the kings. Here's king, and this one is just the mountains. So, I don't know why. I'm going to keep that out. I guess I can't really label this as a walkthrough, like a full walkthrough, because I'm more so just telling you about the deck and look at this death card. Oh, and the four swords. Like, I love that he's barefoot because I love to, like, walk barefoot outside or something to reset. Um, and that's how I always look at the four of swords. Like, you know, you need to take a salt bath or take a walk in nature. And I just really resonated with the images and the, for the most part, the key words. There's the devil. It's destructive indulgence. The four of wands, five of coins. 
All right, where are the kings? So there's the king of swords. Okay, so it has his element plus the mountains. So that's, yeah, the king of wands had it's the fire element plus the mountains. So the mountains must mean, you know, because the world card had the mountains on it as well. So does it mean the earth energy, like the grounding energy, like the, all the pentacles have? Because he only has mountains. The, sorry about the dogs, you guys. Um, so like the earth having that, um, or the world having the earth energy, the grounding energy in there. There's the six of cups. Lost in the past, it, you know, like that's kind of we're hanging on to something that we need to let go. And then this, right, you know, we're, it, I mean, obviously each card can have multiple meanings, but I really, I really think that it's something to check out if you are looking to read tarot for yourself or um, maybe to start doing reversals if you don't already do that. Or maybe just to read for yourself so you're not overthinking everything. Um, I think it's really good. It's, um, and it, and even it comes with the class, I guess, you know, where you're, where you can learn, it gives you more tools or something. So, um, I wish it was a little more affordable, but the cardstock, I mean, that's what, I mean, that's probably what I paid for this one. And it's got like that, that similar cardstock. So, all right. I think I'm going to wrap this up um leave in the comments or whatever if you end up checking out this deck or if you think you know what your opinions are as far as the keywords or if you have it and you love it um if you're reading with it already all of that good stuff all right guys thank you i'll catch you in my next one